homes across the country, I dare say, celebrations continue as families reflect upon the triumphs of their offspring in this week's A-level results. It was a tough year, no doubt, but nearly half a million got the grades that they needed to go to university. But, and it is a big but, 53,000 are still waiting in clearing. That's the university, colleges, admissions system market. It's a place that tries to match demand with supply. Kids who didn't get to where they wanted to and universities that actually have spare capacity. So demand is still very high and efforts are being made to restore the rigour of the A-level, damaged, of course, by teacher-assessed grades, grade inflation and all the rest of it. But in this era of fees, it's a costly investment for young folk and often their families who help out. It's also costly for the rest of us, the taxpayer, with billions of debt in the public accounts, much of which will never be paid back. So, today we are asking if universities are fit for purpose, are they worth what they cost us all? And, really importantly, are they doing what the country needs them to be doing? I raise that last point because there are alternatives, and alternatives that might just be better at giving the nation what it needs and getting young people into gainful employment just a bit sooner. Now, in the Conservative leadership hustings, a bit of which you saw in uh, Tatiana's news bulletin, uh, which I hosted in Manchester, the current favourite, Liz Truss, said that she wanted more emphasis on maths in school and for eyes to be wide open to the many other opportunities, including apprenticeships, technical qualifications and the rest of it that exist for our young people. And that included her own two daughters. I think what's most important is what you do not where you do it. So there are fantastic apprenticeships in areas like engineering and technology that I would be delighted for them to, you know, to go for. Likewise, if they go to university, you know, I, I am an unashamed you know, proponent of studying things like maths and physics. So it depends on what course it is, it depends on what apprenticeship it is. Now, this, of course, is the first year for T-levels. It's a technically focused qualification, and they say it's worth about three A-levels, the kind of average entry point to get to further or higher education and many universities. Just over a 1,000 people gave them a go, and a government spokesman said overnight many had already secured their first job or an apprenticeship and that 370 of them won places on university courses. So it is a stepping stone as well. The key point is that they focus on stuff like design, surveying, planning for construction, digital production, teaching and childcare. Other subjects, including engineering and manufacturing, finance, design and the law, will be introduced between next month and September 2023. So my point is that the options are growing and the focus is sharpening. And be in no doubt at all that post-Brexit, post-Covid and under the real threat of recession, we need the best and the brightest more than ever to be well qualified and in work. How wide dare we open our eyes?